the roar of the crowd. How is it that 100,000 people can obey the same impulses? Mass hysteria or just down-to-earth excitement? And all over a game. Yet not every game has the same effect, so we decided to investigate something a little more restrained. Now, as the two teams walk in, see if you can guess what this sport is. If it helps, we can tell you that these train-to-the-minute players are called the Telkin Terribles, undefeated champions of the world, while their challengers are called simply the Marbles. Well, as you've probably guessed by now, this game at Crawley in Sussex is the highly competitive sport of marbles. To start the match, the captains hold a marble, or tolly as it's called, close to their noses and drop it as near to the line as possible, the nearest one getting the first shot. The sand, by the way, is there to reduce the pace of the marbles, there are 49 of them, travelling across the playing area. Needless to say, there is more skill involved than one might at first think, although we won't confuse you with the rules, except to say that the general idea is to knock the marbles out of the ring, leaving your own in play. The players are, of course, amateurs and come from all walks of life. The referee on this occasion is an income tax inspector, appropriate training for such duties as, for example, checking on the size of the individual marbles. Although one doesn't normally associate the game with men, they do take it very seriously. And it's good to know that here, at least, is one game in which we can beat the world. One final surprise, the marbles normally used are made not from marble or glass, but from clay. 